this week on El Cara Ham Radio, making an antenna with paracord, but not just any paracord, Titan survival cord, and it's not just for guy lines. That's coming up next this week on El Cara Ham Radio. So uh, here in part two of this video series, we're going to talk about the antennas we're working on using Titan survival cord that has multiple strands inside, not just the regular paracord type strands, but one of the strands in their paracord is a wire. And we had the idea, the KY4BDP Brown had the idea, I wonder if we could use that for an antenna, not just for guying the antenna, but for the antenna itself. So the first uh, version of this that we made is this short one here uh, it's for six meters and what we did was as we showed you in the first video we exposed the wire we took a piece of solid copper wire not a real thick piece of wire but something to give us some meat to crimp down onto we put this anderson power pole on there to give us a quick connect we put some heat shrink underneath that there's some black heat shrink underneath this to give it some meat and then this red heat shrink to, to tie the whole thing together and then of course we just melted the end to make it neat. And we've tested this antenna. We got great uh, SWR on this. We showed some screenshots of that in the first video. And uh, this time what we wanted to do as our second element, because we want this to be a multi-element kit that we can put together and deploy quickly in the field. Uh, behind me, you should be able to see that we built a 20 element, 20 meter element, uh, quarter uh, wavelength. And we've got that tuned in pretty well. So we're gonna actually uh, hook up here and we just wanna see if we can make some contacts. Well, before we head out to uh, the farm and create some contacts on uh, 20 and 40 meters, um, I wanted to bring us back in for just a moment. We did create a 40 meter element, and uh, we're just going to be adding some copper wire for the Anderson power pole to give it a little extra meat and solder point for the uh, survivor cord, that thin wire on the inside, and announced that we are giving away 100 feet of this Titan Survival Survival Cord. If you're interested in winning some Survivor Cord, a $30 value, please put Survivor Cord down in the, the uh, description. And we'll do a random drawing in about a week. And Titan Survival will contact you once we pick a winner and uh, give you an idea to pick your color and uh, ship that right out to you. So we are giving away 100 feet of the Titan Survival Survival Cord with the wire in it. So we're just finishing up the 40 meter build. We also got to thinking about the uh, base plate and we're gonna make an adjustment to the base plate as well uh, because we felt like if we had enough wind, there'd be too much tug on this Anderson power pole, which in fact we did actually uh, have it disconnect a couple of times. So we went back and put a little eyelet and a carabiner on the, a part of the base plate where we can actually tie um, a, a string or rope to the base plate and bring down the antenna a little bit so that it's not actually pulling on that Anderson power pole. But I love using these Anderson power poles as quick disconnects. In addition, uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, we were gonna have enough balloons. So we actually went to a local store and instead of inflating a really large balloon for just 20 and 40 meters, uh, we decided to go uh, small, kind of in a way. And we went to the local Dollar Tree and got 20 happy birthday balloons filled with helium. <laughs> so you'll see that coming up and in a way it was also to celebrate the birthday of AC4DM. It was uh, helping out greatly with this particular project. So you can see on the base plate we have cleaned that up mightily. AC4DM took a, uh, a polishing tool uh, and uh, made that, uh, that aluminum really pop. You can remember in the first video it was pretty dirty. So we're using the old uh, drill press here to create one more hole that we're going to create a little uh, eyelet anchor on and a carabiner so that we can actually prevent the actual paracord from coming uh, disconnected down at the bottom. Here are all the elements that we put together. We've got stakes painted orange. We're going to do a little bit better job than that. We have the base plate, we have a battery, we have the analyzer, we have the carbon fiber mast. And uh, you can see we're going up here. Now this was for 20 meters the day that Chris was out there. In fact, uh, when we made uh, good contacts, it was on a different day he wasn't there. And you'll see that in a minute. But that balloon eventually flew away. We just had too much wind. And you can see that the 20 meter element came in perfectly. 
So we were really happy with that. Uh, this is using the carbon fiber mast. It goes higher, about 34 feet, so that we could do the 40 meter element and also check the SWR on that. And that took a few slices to get it right where we wanted it. It was uh, cut long on purpose. So our first uh, uh, check-in, it was coming in quite a bit below 7. Uh, I think it was around 6.8, 6.9, somewhere in that ballpark. It, it was uh, 6, 7, as you can see here. It was really low SWR. It's just too long. So we needed to take some off the end. And I think we ended up making three cuts, but I'm only going to show two of those just so you can see the use of the analyzer actually checking the actual SWR of this survivor cord. So we're coming up with, we were at about 7 here, and uh, we were down about 1.1. So that's awesome. I mean, uh, hardly any reflected energy coming back means more power is going out to make those contacts. So not quite uh, as short as we need it, so we needed to make one more cut. So we'll see that uh, in this next little se sequence here, and 40 meters is also good for 15 meters, so we were checking that here to see where we were going to be on SWR for 20, uh, 15 meters. Worked out wonderful. So now it's time to go make some contacts. Uh, we're going to put the balloons up in the air, about 20 of them. We uh, started on uh, 40 meters, and we're going to start making some contacts. And as you guys remember, I like to go to POTA, Parks on the Air, to make those contacts because I know where they're going to be. Let's tune in. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. Delta Echo 4, Zulu Radio, 55, sir, 55. Just a uh, check on the call sign. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa, QSL. Uh, what was that second letter again? Bravo Delta Papa. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa, Kilo Yankee. Roger, Roger, I have it, I have it, I had it right. Uh, Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa, uh, you came up to a five seven. Five seven. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa, 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 Kilo Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. QSL carry your 5 5 into Kilo Yankee, Kentucky. So now that we've made a few contacts on 40 meters, we wanted to switch to 20 meters. And so you can see that's the 40 meter length there. You can see how high that is on the mast. We needed to bring that down for the 20 meter element. We've got three elements now. So we're going to switch over to the 20 meter element and let's listen in. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. I have you 5 and 2 in South Dakota. Over. QSL, QSL, you're a 5 3 into Kentucky. Kilo Yankee. Uh, Kilo Zulu, Parks on the Air. This is Kilo 3, Juliet Romeo Zulu. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa, you're about a 5-5, 5-5 into Kilo, 1732 QSL. QSL, QSL, you're about a 5-7, almost 5-9 on the balloon antenna today. Thanks for the activation. You're welcome. Be careful not to win. Make sure it doesn't go too far. <laughs> Kiki, 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 Parks on the Air from Whiskey 8 Alpha Papa Sierra. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. Kilo 
QSL, QSL, you're 5-9 into Kilo Yankee, Kentucky, with a balloon antenna. That's sweet. A balloon antenna, I love it. Sounds great. You're coming out. You're making a great signal here. You have a great day then in uh, 73. 73 to yourself, and uh, have a, thanks for the activation. And that'll wrap up the Survivor Cord Balloon Antenna. Want to thank Titan Survival for the giveaway. Don't forget, put Survivor Cord down in the description. If you'd like to win 100 feet, we'll pick a winner randomly. Get involved in your club and build projects like this. 73.